If you are getting eSports FC error code 10000, then you are at the right place. We have got some easy ways that you can use to fix this issue. Welcome back to Silicophilic, your go-to source for tech tips and fixes. Method 1. Restart your app and PC You mostly get error code EC1000 in EA Sports FC due to connectivity issues between your device and EA servers. This can happen due to internet connectivity issues, firewall or antivirus interference, corrupt or missing game files, cache problems, etc. Sometimes, you can also get such game errors due to temporary bugs and errors. So first of all, restart the game and your PC. Open the EA app, click on the three horizontal line menu and select Exit. Next, also open Task Manager using the search menu. Then head to the Processes tab. Right-click on the EA app and select the End Task option. Then restart your PC. After a fresh restart, relaunch the game and check. If you are playing the game from Steam, then you can restart Steam and check. Method 2. Set Firewall to Defaults Press the Windows plus I keys to open Settings. Select Network and Internet. Go to Advanced Network Settings. Select Windows Firewall. Click on Restore Firewalls to Default. Follow the on-screen prompts to finish the process. You can also disable Firewall for the time being. Since it is always recommended not to disable firewalls and antivirus, as your system is vulnerable to malicious threats without them, enable them soon after. Type Windows Defender Firewall in the Windows search box and select the top option. Click on Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. Click on the radio buttons for Turn Off Windows Defender Firewall Not Recommended Options. Make sure you do this for both private and public network settings. Save the changes by clicking on OK. Method 3. Check the internet connection. Make sure you are connected to a stable internet connection. You can check the internet speed from speedtest.net. If the internet connection is slow, then contact your service provider for help. Method 4. Restart the router or modem. You can also restart the router or the modem. Turn off the router or modem and disconnect it from the power source. Allow a few minutes before reconnecting everything. Now turn on the router or modem and check if this has fixed the problem. Method 5. Check the EA game server status. This error can also occur if the EA account is not read from the server. This can happen if the server is under maintenance or if there is any server outage. So you can check the EA server status from this link. If there is any issue on the server side, then wait till the server becomes up and live again. Method 6. Open the EA app as an administrator. Sometimes the EA app may require administrative privileges to function properly. So run the EA app as an administrator and see if this can fix the error. Right-click on the EA desktop shortcut. Select Show more options, then open its properties. Go to the Compatibility tab and check the box for Run this program as an administrator option. Click on Apply and then on OK to save the changes. Method 7. Log out of EA account and log in again. The next thing you can try is log out of your EA account and then log in again. To do that, click on your profile icon at the top right corner of the EA app home page. Select log out option. Then wait for some time and then log in with your account credentials. Launch the game and check now. Method 8. Unlink Steam and EA accounts and relink. The next thing you can try is unlink EA and Steam accounts and then create a new account and link that. To do so, go to the Connections tab of your EA account settings. Click the Unlink button next to your Steam account. You will get a code to verify your identity. Enter the code and select Submit. Read the disclaimer and make sure you want to unlink knowing all the risks above. Check the box for I understand and wish to continue. Then click on Unlink. Then create a new EA account and relink it with your Steam account. Then try to play the game and see if this helps. Method 9. 
method 9 clear the ea app cache corrupted cache can create problems and cause these types of errors so you should also clear the ea app cache and reconfigure it but before doing it close the ea app from the task manager press windows plus r to launch the run utility type percent local app data percent in the run command box and press enter delete the ea desktop and electronic arts folders from the local folder Method 10. Flush DNS and reset Winsock. Type command prompt in the Windows search menu and choose to run command prompt as an administrator. Next, copy and paste these commands one by one in the elevated CMD window. Hit enter after each command. ipconfig slash flush DNS. ipconfig slash release. ipconfig slash renew. Net SH INT IP reset. Net SH Winsock reset. Once you have finished running all the lines of commands, restart your computer. Method 11 Update the network drivers. Outdated drivers can lead to connectivity issues while playing games. So you can update the network drivers and see if this can fix the issue. To do so, open Device Manager using Windows Search. Head to the Network Adapter section and expand it. Right-click on your Network Adapter and select the Update Driver option. Choose Search automatically for the Drivers option. Follow the on-screen instructions to finish the process. Method 12. Change DNS You can also try changing the DNS and see if this can fix the error. To change DNS, type Control Panel in the Windows search box and choose the first option. Next, set the View By option to small or large icons. Select Network and Sharing Center. Now select your internet connection next to Connections. Then open its properties. Or you can select Change Adapter Settings. Search for Internet Protocol version 4, right-click on it and open its properties. Set the preferred DNS server address to 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 and the alternate DNS server address to 8.8.4.4. .4. Click on OK and save the changes. You can also switch to the Cloudflare DNS server. For that, set the preferred DNS server address to 1.1.1.1 and the alternate DNS server address to 1.0.0.1. To save the changes, click on OK. Once done, restart your PC. Once the PC restarts, relaunch the game and see if this issue could be fixed. Method 13. Perform EA App Recovery Open the EA App and click on the three horizontal line or the hamburger menu. Click on Help, then click on App Recovery. Next, click on the Clear Cache button. Then it should restart the EA App and then try to launch the game. Method 14. Verify the integrity of the game files. Verifying the game files should fix the problem if there are any missing or corrupted game files. Here is how to verify the game files from Steam. Open the Steam library, right-click on the game and expand its properties. Click on Install Files and select Verify Integrity of Game Files. Wait till the verification process completes. Once the game is verified, relaunch the game and check. Method 15. Troubleshoot the graphics drivers. The next thing you should do is troubleshoot your graphics drivers. Right-click on the Windows Search button and choose Device Manager. Go to the Display Adapter section and then expand it. Right-click on your graphics driver. Select the Update Driver option. Click on the Search Automatically for Drivers option and follow the instructions provided on screen to download and install the latest driver. If updating graphics drivers doesn't work, you can reinstall them. Expand the Display Adapter section and right-click on your graphics driver. Click on the Uninstall Device option and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the process. After installation of the drivers, install them again. For the AMD graphics driver, install the Radeon app, then run it. Similarly, for NVIDIA graphics drivers, install and run the GeForce experience. You should visit the official websites of your graphics card manufacturer to update your graphics card drivers. 
these websites are linked in the description below. Download the latest drivers for the graphics card installed on your computer from these websites. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the driver installation process. Once done, restart your PC. Then rerun the app to check for any updates. If any updates are available, download and install them. Method 16. Run the game on a dedicated graphics card. If you have multiple GPUs for your system, then make sure to use the one for gaming as this can tackle the graphics intensive tasks well. So using the dedicated GPU for gaming can avoid issues while playing FC25. You can follow the method shown here. Check if you are running the dedicated graphics card. There are different other ways to check that, depending on your operating system and the specific card you have. Open Device Manager using Windows Search. Expand Display Adapters. You should see two adapters listed here, one for your dedicated graphics card and the one for your integrated graphics card. The dedicated one will have a longer and more specific name than the integrated one. The dedicated graphics card may also have a higher memory size listed. So make sure to run the game with a higher memory size to avoid loading or crashing issues. Method 17. Contact EA Support If the method shown in this video could not fix the EA Sports FC25 error, then you can reach out to EA Support for help. You can get in touch with Live Support through the official EA Help site or you can reach out via X, formerly Twitter or Facebook for help as well if you prefer. And there you have it, the methods to fix the EA Sports FC error code 10000. We hope one of these methods have worked for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and troubleshooting guides. Leave a comment and help others know which method solved your problem. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.